Oh yeah, I got this John Deere uh, Z445. It's a 45 in, or 54 inch deck. Uh, I already took it off. It needs a little bit of sanding and painting. So I'll be showing you how to do that, which uh, there's only two pens. They look like this. And they hook into here. Once you get them off, well, you gotta get your belt off, which I took the belt off from this pulley and then took it off the back of the flywheel that's on the motor. Uh, once you take them all off, you slide for, slide the deck forward and there's a bracket that's right here. Would we'll slide up and out of these grooves where you lift it up and slide your deck out. Uh, normally I'll pull these pulley or spindles and all this off to paint this one, but this one's not bad, so that's why I'm just gonna touch up where it's really rusty, and which mainly is this side. So I'll be showing you how to do that. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of wire wheeling to get rid of a lot of this loose paint, which you wanna wear a face shield, some gloves, because these wires do fling around. This is, this is a John Deere zero turn. Pretty much what I'm gonna do is get the rust knocked off, all the loose paint. Uh, that thing I forgot to mention. They would have these on there. Which gotta take off. Which one on each side. This yeah, it went like. Whatever. There's one on each side that you gotta take off to be able to sand it. So I'm going to go ahead and wire reel the rest of that where it's all loose paint at. Once done with that, then I'm going to primer it. Alright, since I didn't take the spindles and stuff off, there's some loose paint here. And rods that I get off. You want to try to get off as much as you can off. Sandblaster. A sandblaster, I mean, I could take all these spindles off, pull these belts, sandblast this, and just pull a full coat of paint, primer paint on it. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more wire wheeling on this side. It's kind of really rough. The more you get sanded down or wire wheel powder, it's going to be better, which I have sandpaper, but it's finer, so I'm going to try to rough it up. All 
Alright, now what I'll do, I'll go along and put some finer sandpaper to knock off the roughness with the water road down. And like I said, I'm only touching up where it really needs it at. I'm not going to hold these smaller deck. Just trying to smooth it out a little bit. So I made it look a little bit better than what it does. You want a little bit of, you know, you want to, if you're going to paint over top of this, you want to make sure you do stain it a little bit. It gives that rough texture so your new paint and primer will stay on there. And if you have any decals or anything that you need to take off, you probably strongly suggest to do that. I'm going to do this one. As I said, I'm going to be painting this whole section here. And that's, you know, and then you can feel, if you feel a lip here on this paint, you're going to see it in the paint when you go paint it. So, make sure you know you sand it really well. I'm going to sand on that for a while and try to get it really nice. Alright, before I spray paint it, I'm going to blow... And if you go paint Modec, you probably want to put something underneath so you're not spraying your con or painting your concrete. Uh, you know, plastic, cardboard, you know, lay it. Alright, I'm gonna get my primer. Make sure you shake it up real good. I'm gonna primer all my rusty, real rusty spots. You could primer the whole darn deck if you're going to paint it all. Try not to get on your pulleys, which I already did. Sometimes you don't need a primer, depending, but I wanted to primer this. Your paint will stay a lot longer if you primer. I should just go ahead and paint the whole deck, but like I said, I'm just going to touch it up. A lot of the stuff you won't see, like mainly in here, you know, that plastic shove's going to be hiding it, so I'm still going to paint it, but. All right, I got it somewhat primered. Now we got to let it dry, probably 15 minutes to half an hour, depending on what kind of primer you got that dries. So we're going to be waiting for a little bit. For that to dry before you can put paint on it. And you know, if you get a little bit on the pulleys, what I did is I took brake cleaner on a paper towel, sprayed it on a paper towel, and wiped off the little bit I got on that pulley on that side here, which it took it right off, you know, didn't let it really dry hard under there. All right, my sandpaper was uh, grit 180. You know, you depending on how far, how much you want to get into this. 
Uh, you want a well ventilated area when you go do this, when you're painting a primer in. So now I'm gonna put John Deere yellow paint on the deck, which I just buy them in spray cans. You go to John Deere dealers and get it. And make sure you don't get over spray on it. Which these cans have where you can turn them to fan out, you know, other ways if you buy the good spray cans, which if you go to John Deere Dealer, you get the good cans. I'm gonna put two to three coats on. You can do if you want, depending on you know what you feel like it needs. When you put your first coat on, you gotta let it dry. Do your second coat. It makes it easier when you take the pulleys and everything off. But I like doing things difficult way. I wasn't going to paint the whole deck, but I kind of like now decided, you know what, I sanded it down a little bit. And I'm just going to give it all one coat, or all a good coat of paint. You know, even if it needs two, I'll do it. I did. That's another thing, uh, before you do anything, you probably strongly suggest pressure wash it. Wash it really good. That's what I did. You get it red, it's clean. And when you know, when you sand it down, blow it off with air. You get all your dust and everything off. Or you press wash it, but then you gotta wait for it to dry again. I just got some paint on my sticker. I'm going to take some brace and brake cleaner on a paper towel and get that off of there. Or if it's still wet, a dry paper towel works too. And normally I'll tape that stuff off. You tape it off, makes it easier. I said I didn't have plans of giving it all a paint job, but I decided what the heck. Might as well. All right, so I'm going to paint this one more time. So do one, two, or three paint, or coats of paint if you want. Uh, pretty much that's about it. And then, you know, once it dries, go ahead and put it back, put everything back on, put it on your mower. Not that hard to do. It takes some time, though. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Oh, yeah, I did forget. Uh, your temperature in your garage should be over 65 degrees or better, or even outside if you do it outside. However, but make sure you got a warm temperature garage or out, be outside warm, or your paint won't dry right.